Right, good morning everyone, welcome to this week's video. So here we are, beautiful Suffolk countryside, we're out at Chedderston at Willow Lakes today. We're out fly fishing again today, so fingers crossed we are actually going to catch and keep Terry Wogan at bay today. So without further ado, let's get the kit out of the van and head down to the lake. <laughs> Right, here we are. So we were gonna to fish the top lake today because I haven't fished that much before, but uh, just speaking to the owner and uh, he's saying that they are properly rising on the bottom lake here and looking at this, they are. So I think we might be in luck, uh, touch wood that is. So uh, we're at the bottom end of the bottom lake here and uh, yeah, there are definitely a few fish rising and properly rising with the backs coming out of the water. So um, just starting to drizzle a little bit, which isn't too bad. I've got my waterproofs with me anyway, but um, we'll set up just down here and uh, see what damage we can do. All right, all I can say is thank you for the drizzle because it's been fairly warm the last couple of days and there was no way I was trying to fish down here when it was that hot. So plan today, on the point, we're gonna stick a little black Montana and then about uh, two, three foot up the, uh, the tippet, we're gonna stick um, a daddy long legs and uh, we'll see how we get on with that. Ooh, <laughs> that one took it just as I was pulling that one out. I don't know whether he's still on. Yeah, he's on. He's on the bottom one. Oh, it's a... What is that? That is a bizarre looking fish. Oh, it's a little... Uh, a little off. Look at him. <laughs> so this little fella took it just as I was just then about to recast. Not the species we are after, but at least we haven't blanked. Let's get him back in the water. There we go, Wee! look at him go. <laughs> this does not want to give up just yet. Oh, that looks like a really, really nice fish. That is a nice fish. There we go, look at him. Absolute beautiful, beautiful trout. So a beautiful little rainbow. Well chuffed with that, that took the daddy that did. So uh, he's completely messed up my, uh, my line. But anyway, let's get this one on the stringer and uh, let's try and get some more. Right then, so that's that re-rigged. So we'll just change tactics a little bit. So we've got a, a, a black gnat on the bottom and a great big uh, foam beetle on the top. So this drizzle has turned into rain. So I'm gonna flick this camera off and we're gonna to stick to the GoPro for the, until it stops raining. There we go. That one took that one straight away. Oh, can you believe it? I've got two. That is sod's law. How on earth I've managed this, I don't know. Oh, 
how are we going to get these in? <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Well, this is a first. Yeah. Here we are. Well, here's one. But as soon as I try and get that one in, there's one. And there's two. <laughs> Look at that. Two fish on one go. And I can't believe I managed to get them bloody in as well. How I managed to land those two at the same time, I don't know. Luckily, they weren't big fish, but there's a first. So that's two trout. So I had that on a black gnat and a great big foam bug as well. So that's three fish within about half an hour. So it gives me one more fish because we're on a four fish limit. There's no catch and release here. Uh, so that means I'll have to go back home and do some housework or we'll do some hot smoking, one of the two. Right, so let's, uh, I think I'm going to have to retime my, uh, my rig after this little battle with these two. But uh, yeah, that was a first. Absolutely brilliant. Well, that ain't bad going for half an hour, is it, really? Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I think, because uh, we've got all day here, really, and we've already had three fish, and let's say it's a four fish limit. So uh, I think we'll get the kettle out and have a brew first before we crack on fishing because uh, I don't really want to go out <laughs> to do housework but uh, yeah let's get a brew on and then uh, we'll get our fourth fish right so it's up past 10 we've had three fish uh, I don't want to go home just as yet so uh, that's always the thing on waters like this where you got a four fish limit and no catch and release uh, just take your time you know you're not there's no rush. They're obviously uh, feeding on the surface and uh, fishing's pretty good at the moment. So um, I'm going to take my time. And that's why if you're into your cooking, it's always a good idea to bring your stuff down and, and, and cook your fish up on the bank here. So keep an eye out for another video coming up where we're going to be coming back down here uh, with the uh, Frontier Stove from Anave. And uh, we're going to be doing some hot smoked, uh, some trout and do some recipes with that. But, uh, but yeah, what an absolute cracking start to the day. So that's the last one of these coffee bags. So these coffee bags are by a company called Faf Coffee and they're absolutely brilliant really and they're completely biodegradable. Not that I sling them in the bushes or anything. But uh, yeah, you can get single pouch packs or you can get a multi pouch pack. Um, but the best thing about it is the coffee is bloody tasty. Right, just had a fantastic idea whilst going to get the camera that was on charge in the van. Let's set up the Tankara rod by Rigged and Ready and uh, have a go at uh, sticking a fly on the surface just by those overhanging willows near where we're fishing. Uh, just a single fly. Definitely don't want to catch two fish on this thing. Nothing on that one. Well, actually, no, we did. We had a golden orf on that. But uh, anyway, we lost the fly in the in the willow over there. Time to get back on the rod, I think. We'll have a last fish. Um, I don't think it's going to be too long before we catch, to be perfectly honest. So uh, let's get the fly rod out and get the last fish.
look. There we go. There we go. There we are. Last fish of the day. Right, there we go, look at that. That's the fourth fish of the day. It's been an absolute cracking day down here today, especially with the two in one go. So we've probably had about two hours down here today and we've really, really caught the fishing. They've been up on the surface and uh, it's been really, really good fishing here today. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, as always, please hit the subscribe button just below there. And as always, a couple of videos for you to take a look at and we'll see you next week on the next one.